Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, then click all. Thanks. Hi everyone, welcome back. And over the weekend, I broke my nail. It cracked and then it broke off. So now we have to fix it. And this video here is about using a dual form to fix this nail using dual forms and a milky white gel. But what we're gonna do instead of putting the dual form on top of the nail, like is usually done, we're going to set the dual form underneath the nail, okay? Now, there is ways that you can do this with this type of dual form. This is your normal dual form that I like to use that are big enough. I use these on toenails and occasionally on fingernails. This is the YS Nails dual form. And this is what it looks like from the side. And then lately, I've been using these dual forms here. They're very straight. These are actually dual form tips. And I call them the Russian dual forms because most of the Eastern European nail techs use these. And they use these in many, many ways. And I'm learning, okay? So, um, instead of putting it on top of the nail, like is usually done, this tip, let me show you this one. And this one would be on top of the nail or down here. We're going to put them under the nail. Now, if you were going to use this one, which has a little bit of a curve to it, since my nail is straight here, what I would do is I would take my scissors and just cut the dual form straight off. Now, if you had um, more of like a, uh, a curve, like underneath here to your, to your nail, then you could cut it in a curved manner. Let me trim that off here just a little bit more. Do you see that? That's how you would put this one on. You wanna make sure you get one that fits from side to side. Okay, but I'm not going to use this one. I'm gonna use this one, okay? But obviously I can't get it under the nail like that. So I got my nail all prepped, but I don't have my dehydrators or primers on there yet. For this dual form tip here, I was not able to just cut it straight across like I did the other one, because this one is a very straight dual form tip and it has a very strong C curve in it. So by cutting it in a smaller curve right here, it seemed to fit a lot better on my nail. Now that I've got my nail all prepped, I just clean it with isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to add a dehydrator. This is Bond Aid by OPI. It's what I always use. And then for a primer, I'm using Bond X by OPI. It is for acrylic, but it also works for gel. At least I find that it does. All right, and then let that dry, which takes maybe 30 seconds to a minute. The milky white gel that I'm using in this video is one that I made. And I made it out of the Star Nails white gel and then the Star Nails Clear Sculpting Gel. I mixed those two together in an extra little pot that I had until I got it the way I want it. We don't yeah. need to use a base gel here. The reason being is Star Nails International gels have the base in it, okay? It's a one-phase gel. All right, so here I am just applying the gel on the outside of the dual form not on the inside like you usually do okay it's on the outside okay here i am i'm gonna just put the form underneath my nail and do you see why the gel is on the outside so that it goes under the nail and kind of acts like a glue okay so i'm just taking my fingers here and just kind of rearranging the dual form kind of holding it in place and now i'm going to add just a little bit more of the gel 
on top here, right where my natural nail meets the form. And then again, I reposition it so it's really close to my nail and there's no gap, okay? That's what I wanna do. And you see I'm holding it here. I can do that because I'm doing my thumb. And now I'm putting my little portable rechargeable lamp right over my finger and I'm curing it for like 15 seconds okay just to cure it into place and now I'm just going to go ahead and build the nail out with this technique you can use any product that you want you could use poly gel you could use acrylic and in this case I'm using builder gel You can see that I switched to my liner brush. That is actually my gel brush. It has a liner brush on one end and of course the gel brush on the other end. And I switch back and forth because I think a lot of times the liner gives me more control, especially here now that I'm trying to shape out the almond shape that I want. So I think that's looking pretty good for a starter, you know. So I think I'm gonna just add a little bit more here and then I'm gonna go ahead and give this a cure for one minute. And then I'll be back to do a second layer. Okay, so I cured this for one minute and I, you could pinch it a little, but I'm still kind of worried because I don't have enough gel in the stress area here and I don't want it to crack off. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna pinch it, okay? So now I need to just add a little bit more gel. Start building up some uh, structure. Probably going to need another layer after this one. All right, that's looking really good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cure this for one minute. I just wanted to stop and take a moment and show you these dual form nail tips that I'm using in this video. They are from a store called Gossip Nails on AliExpress. And if you go to AliExpress, you can just type in Gossip Nails and that should bring up the store. And you'll be able to look through all of their nail tips that they have. They have so many things. And I will try to have the link for you in the description box below. And this is what the nail looks like so far. And there's really no reason to keep the form on anymore, so I'm going to take it off. And all you do is you just pinch it together and pull down, and there you go. That's what it's looking like so far. Looks pretty good. Okay, so we, I just need to put another layer on, build up a little bit more structure, and yeah, then I'll clean it and file it.
And don't worry if you get anything in that cuticle area, you can wipe it out with your cuticle tool. Okay, don't worry. Before you cure it, you'll wanna do that. Okay, I think I need a little bit right there. Okay, and maybe some right here. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, just a little bit down the center. Here's my cuticle cleaner tool. You wanna clean out any thing that runs into that cuticle area. So that's looking pretty good. So I don't really have to worry about it. I'm gonna file that there. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied. I'm just gonna hold it here like that. I'm gonna flip it back over, take a look. Maybe run another bead of gel down the center. Okay, flip it over. Yeah, I think that's good. I think it's looking good. Good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Now that the nail is all cured, it's time to clean it off with some isopropyl alcohol and then start filing. And I'm really satisfied with how it looks so far. And I know in the video it seems like it took a long time, you know, but I went through all the steps because I want you to see how to do this. But in actuality, I think it went really fast. <laughs> It was one of the fastest nails I ever did. I was pretty surprised. I was like, wow, this is, this is really fast. But when you're filming and showing people, it does seem like it's slower. And you might be thinking, wow, this is taking forever to do one nail, but not really. Let me finish up with filing off camera and I'll meet you back when I'm done. I wanted to give you a close up look at the underside of the nail because it looks really good. It's smooth and it just looks really nice. I mean, you can see some of the mark lines or guidelines from the dual form. That's because you put the gel on the outside of the form. But if you used colored gels, colored acrylics, colored poly gels, you'd never see that. The only way you might see that is if you make your nail clear. That's the end of the video and here's some pictures and video of the finished nail with cuticle oil on it. And I must say I impressed myself because I really like this technique a lot. I think it went really fast and I'm impressed because the nail actually looks pretty good. I like it. And I like how it's very smooth and nice underneath too. If you liked the video and you learned something, leave me a comment. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.